Monaco, perhaps the richest place to live on the planet, is a city-state with no space. But it isn't dormant, it's evolving. Monaco is building Mare Terra, a man-made island that will take elitism to a completely new level. All for the price of $2 billion. But how does one start building a billionaire's dream on water? Monaco is small, below one square mile of land. However, it is home to more millionaires and billionaires than anywhere in the world. The entire area is rented out, and therefore it has streets full of Ferraris, ports with yachts to accommodate, and apartments that are so costly that even the billionaires have a hard time looking for space. The need for luxury homes is still occasionally a lot of demand, but Monaco has reached a point where it lacked the space that could enable it to construct more. Thus, what can one do when they have reached the end of the ladder? The solution was both simple and incredibly complex. Gain new space from the sea. This new space had to meet the desires and needs of the elite while preserving Monaco's image as a clean, utopian haven. There are no personal income taxes for most of the residents, no inheritance taxes and no capital gains taxes in Monaco, making it one of the finest places for the global elites. However, it's even more than money. It has one of the most secure environments one can think of, with a Mediterranean climate and is simply one of the best places one can live in. It boasts one policeman for every 100 people with an opportunity to bask under the sun all year round, littered with excellent facilities for the rich. Yet, paradise was losing the last of its space, and so, the only thing left was to extend into the sea. Mari Terra is Monaco's response to the space problem. This large-scale project that started in 2015 is not only about the construction of new space, it's about defining the sleek new future of their office. Its name, Mare Terra, meaning sea and earth in Latin, is planning to claim 15 acres of the Mediterranean Sea to develop a new district that follows the ethos of luxury living, while being sustainable to the environment. This isn't any ordinary district. Mare Terra is the proposal to be the home of the elites in floating luxury houses for living, working, and indulgence in a green manner. The project comprises 120 luxurious villas, a marina, a park, and a pedestrian zone all aimed at becoming the pride of the Mediterranean. This is the starting point of the luxury of future living, and not only the expansion of space, but life. New land generation is not cheap or easy, especially when one is seeking to build on the water body. Mari Terra is one of the best examples of modern engineering. Imagine this. It is formed by 18 huge concrete domes resembling small buildings that are gently dropped into the ocean. These colossal structures, called kaizons, form the foundation for the new land, supporting lavish constructions where the sea once was. But they say it's not just about imposing raw engineering muscle. It should be noted that environmental protection is one of the priorities of Monaco. The Desmarche plan prepared by marine biologists shows where all endangered species were moved before the first Kaizon was set. Even the sand that was taken to fill the newly made land was not just purchased anywhere. It was bought from northern Sicily because of its compatibility with the coastal area of Monaco. The Kaizons are constructed with a lot of detail so that it doesn't cause any disruption to the seabed and will also protect the structure from the sea, thereby ensuring land can be built behind the Kaizons. Of course, Mare Terra is not about creating more land. It is about developing the next chapter in Monaco's story. It is proclaiming to the world that this small state can dominate the sea and at the same time, be sympathetic to the acts of nature. When the land was prepared, it was time for Monaco to initiate the process of attracting stars. But they did not want simple buildings. Monaco demanded architectural masterpieces. To accomplish all this, an exceptional architectural team consisting of Renzo Piano and Velodi and Pistre was undertaken. They are the brains behind some of the most famous and popular architectural creations across the globe, and they contributed their mastery to Mare Terra. The result? Luxurious modern houses and flats that contain large glass facades with beautiful views of the Mediterranean Sea. Villas with swimming pools, beautiful roofs, and direct access to the sea. These structures are constructed in such a way that they harmonize with the environment for the use of natural stuff such as stones and timber. I bet the fact that the building was designed by Renzo Piano only contributed to the point. Being acclaimed and renowned for appreciating proficient beauty and applying it to architectural structures, 
Piano's contribution to Mare Terra is expected to change the way luxury architecture will be perceived. The essence of the present task is not only to build graceful, complex architectural forms, but also to build a neighborhood that would seem to be exclusive but welcoming at the same time. The spaces are also designed in the same manner, and the consultants insist on the fact that Mariterra was meant to be an extension of Monaco. New private apartments in Mariterra are being prepared, which will cost as much as 120,000 euros per square meter. For the super rich, however, it is not merely a proposition in the sphere of real estate, but in the realm of opportunity to live a life that can only be described as a fantasy to the rest of society. But Mariterra is bigger than luxury. It's about a vision. Mariterra is in line with the efforts of Prince Albert II of Monaco, who has vowed to make the country's carbon footprint zero by 2050. The newly constructed district will be built with green technologies as well as a friendly environmental aesthetic. Cooling and heating systems with renewable energy such as photovoltaic solar panels and thermal pumps to ensure 80% of the energy requirement of the district. New pieces of infrastructure in the cities will include electric car charging stations and bike lanes which will assist the transition to clean modes of transportation. Mariterra's major concern is also the establishment of green spaces, connecting the new district with the existing cultural area of Monaco. A new park with vegetation of Mediterranean climate and large trees will provide people with an opportunity to rest from everyday troubles. It's not only about investing in new constructions, but about having a new eco-chic living concept in order to have a perfect integration between luxury and sustainability. This is why Mariterra is an example of how cities of the future can develop sustainably and freely. Monaco has always been described in one way, a symbol of richness and opulence. But Mare Terra is more than just that. It is one of the most expiring examples of how the world's elite could adapt the best locations of the world to future requirements. They're also employing green technologies and environmentally friendly solutions in their work, thus demonstrating what other luxury buildings and complexes should do throughout the world. So what do you think? I don't know about you, but it's kind of refreshing to hear rich people doing something good on an island for once. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.